Hey, I'm Jed with McLogan Supply, and today we're going to be playing with some UV printers making some badass skateboards. And no, that's not a UV printer behind me. Alright, so some of you guys haven't seen us play a lot with is UV printers. We're always messing with our rolling printers, our Truvis, our eco solvent printers, the new DTF, the new DTG. But the things we're really excited about playing with a lot lately has been the UV printers. Alright, so with this board, this was actually just the start of us playing around with it. So we started with Avery's black metallic vinyl. This is the 900 Supercast vinyl. And just kind of playing with what we already had in the arsenal. Sometimes you don't always need to print every part of the design. So we literally just started stacking a clear over it. Went through a few attempts. We did five over print pass, a three over print pass, a couple different variations. This is the three over print pass, which we were very happy with. It wasn't stacked too high, wasn't stacked too low. It kind of gave that, that actual texture that's almost reminiscent of what you'd see on a on a handbag or or a nice belt or a pair of shoes or something like that. After playing with our own textures, we started playing with the textures that are actually included with Roland's uh, RIP software, Verseworks, that comes with the printers. Obviously kind of picked up a little bit of influence from some old kind of skate designs in the 80s, this kind of retro look here. So Versaworks comes with a few libraries. One of those libraries is the texture library and it's really amazing with the textures already embedded in there. We have everything from zebra, kind of animal style prints to some geometric, uh, diamond plates, some fun star prints, all kinds of crazy textures in there that can really dress up pretty simple designs. We have just a clear gloss texture over this tile, where this tile down here, it's kind of hard to see. We may have a, a cool dotted pattern. They have a ton of patterns that are already available. You just gotta go in there through your Illustrator swatches, open up that rolling texture library, and apply that to your fills. Uh, you can obviously also make your own textures, save those in there, and just have a lot of fun with the UV. Once you get it out of Illustrator and into Verseworks, that's where the real fun starts. That's where we can go to a matte finish, a gloss varnish, or an embossing style. That will decide the heights of the clears that we're gonna be laying down onto the graphics. All right, so the next skateboard I'm gonna talk about, I mean, what can I say? This is the skateboard that everyone talks about. So we took this and turned it into this. Just kind of jumping into our toolbox of what we had available to us. We had some cool vinyls, we had some cool films available, we had some cool printers. So we took the design that we had already implemented in the sticker before. We printed on our eco solvent printers, the True Viz series, like the VG3 behind me. We were really punching the oranges in that original print. So the orange arrows were really, really sharp, really bright oranges. And we had a really dark vignette around the design. It looked really cool, worked really well. But it was a design that still had some potential and we were playing with our UV printers and you know sometimes inspiration just comes from nowhere. I think I was just driving and I remember calling someone and trying to explain the idea to them and they just kind of said yeah yeah Jed sounds great. So first thing I did when I got in the office the next day is I started working on the file. This file is pretty simple but it is about three files stacked together once we get it into Verseworks to actually implement it. But it's really just playing with some clear varnishes. The UV uh, inks automatically knock out the silver. So as you saw, I showed you that was a silver foil, had a rainbow uh, fantasy kind of spectrum in it. But all the matted areas, we're not seeing any of that. It only comes back out once we start punching it out with the gloss. So it was a lot of fun experimenting with these films, experimenting with the printer, and really opening our eyes to the possibilities of UV outside of the normal applications. So if you're interested in any rolling device, please feel free to call or check us out at mclogan.com. With every rolling printer, you get the McLogan difference, which means a full set of ink included with the printer and free delivery and installation. If you want to schedule a demo, please feel free to give us a call, or you can even sign up for our new virtual demos. So the first step in applying the graphic is obviously cleaning the deck, and then taking your time to apply the knifeless tape around the edges where you want the cut to be applied. Be sure to leave at least six inches at the beginning and end of the knifeless tape. In case something goes wrong and the stream breaks, you have a little extra material to work with there. We're gonna go ahead and lay down the graphic pretty much like normal. We do have to mine the curvature and use nice soft squeegees so we're not scratching the surface. I'm using one of McLogan's wrap squeegees here. After we get the graphic down nice around all the edges, we really want to make sure it's sealed. You may need to use a heat gun for the process. Uh, 
we're gonna go ahead and start pulling the string through the green Teflon of the, of the knifeless tape so we can start our cut. We wanna be really careful at this point. If the string breaks, we can get ourselves in a little bit of trouble. So take your time, make sure again, we're pulling that string through the green Teflon, splitting the Teflon, and then into the vinyl. Once you have the string cutting into the vinyl, let's make sure we pull the string uh, almost flatter, 45 degree angle against the vinyl so we're getting that nice clean cut. Sometimes I like to drag my finger over the string to make sure we're not pulling the vinyl up as well. Once we pulled the string out entirely, we're going to go ahead and remove both pieces of the green Teflon tape. This step can be missed sometimes, so make sure you pull out the second green Teflon that's actually under the vinyl you applied. After we've removed both pieces of Teflon, go ahead and seal the edges with a heat gun, squeegee, or wrap glove. Once the process is done, you can also follow this up with an edge sealer and or some clear one-shot enamel paint to seal the edges. So now let's talk about who this printer is for. So with Roland's new lineup of TrueViz printers expanding into their UV division, we have so many new devices at our disposal. Roland's really opened up the world to our flatbed printers with the new S-series printers available. Uh, the new MG and LG UV printers coming out soon are going to really increase speeds and drop costs, both in printing and the actual equipment costs. So we're seeing a lot of new exciting things for UV printing. And again, the biggest benefits we've always had in UV printing, aside from the fun UV glosses, textures, and stuff like that, is not really needing lamination. We mainly use UV for interior prints, so the need of lamination really isn't there. One of the biggest advantages of this is doing interior wraps. If we're using a UV printer, we're actually creating a much better product to apply to the walls. So we do need to use the right material to print on, but the UV printing technology and the inks actually blend themselves much, much better for interior graphics than the eco-solvent. You can still use either technology, but if you're going to begin into these new architectural interior wraps, definitely look into UV technology. Same thing if you're mainly going to be doing stickers or if you're mainly going to be doing labels and product packaging. UV is the world we want you to look into. It's really, really growing. The, the durability of the inks is getting uh, better and stronger every year. So if you're looking into doing product packaging, package prototyping, or just some cool labels or badass stickers, you gotta look into the UV technology. Again, with the print and feel textures, we can really make things look so much better, so much more elegant, and charge so much more for our product, it's ridiculous. The EcoSolvent is a great technology and it covers pretty much the whole spectrum. You can go from car wraps to heat transfer material to stickers to canvas, whatever you want to do. While the UV is a little bit more finite, what we can do with it and what we can charge is so much better. We can get into the POP promotional products. If we're in a flatbed UV situation, we put something like the rotary rack in there where we can start printing packaging on cylindrical products or bottles. Pretty much your imagination opens up everything. You can make custom jigs or fixtures if you want to print on lighters or USB drives or just about anything. So it's a technology that if you bring it in, you can be producing for your clients, but you could also be producing promotional products for yourself to be handing out. We actually use Roland technology every single day in our shops to produce products and labels, giveaway items with all of our Roland printers every single day. We want to hear from you. What do you want to see us do with our printers? Comment below. Let us know what you're already doing. If you have any fun ideas or anything for us to try out, or just if you've been thinking about trying some and you're scared to do it on your printer, leave the comment below. I guarantee you I'll try it on my printer.